Well, hello, people, and welcome to Gmodism Industries Weapon Lab in StarMade. And I was a bit confused before um, with the uh, uh, many updates ago. The punch through effect was defaulted to the cannon systems, and the piercing was defaulted to the beam systems. And then I thought maybe it would be useless to use those systems with the weapons from now on, but that is not the case. And as I know this, I thought that I should share the information to you if you also got confused from that in the beginning. So I will simply just demonstrate this for you um, with showing off the effects of the piercing and the punch through using with the beam and the uh, cannon systems. So we just begin with spawning some. We will go with a system of 10, like that. Punch through. Also, I just want to show off the explosive sometime just because it has an interesting application that uh, you should know about also when building weapons, optimizing your weapons. Alright. So, we create a beam system we create a cannon system. Like that. Oh, and um, I guess this is not new, new stuff to you, but if it is, I'll just show you. I have these systems here. So if I have it on my board, I can get a what is it? Armor HP absorption bonus when using this. Basically a defensive system. If I use the explosive, then um, I can't be affected by the uh, push and pulse stuff. If I use the punch through as a... then I get the armor HP deduction bonus. And of course, they're according to how big they are on the system. But anyways, um, those systems are useful, but you don't use them all the time. Now, the weapon's total size will affect the amount of damage it does. So when we sh when we fire these single systems, just like this, they won't do so much damage. Here we have the beam. And one thing you should know, look, if I click once and let the beam hold, uh, compared to if I take my mouse button and hold the beam until it's out. You can see here, when I hold the beam, we can damage one block more. We can damage a wee bit more. So that's something you really should know. Um, that it's better to hold the beams until they fire finished than to just click and hope for them to do all the ticks. Uh, I guess it's a bug, I guess it will be fixed, but this is the case now. Uh, on cannon you however can only click. So here you can see the default cannon, it's a very small system so it only can damage, um, destroy one block. However, I know you know it's default, but if we hook up punch through as an effect with the cannon this is the result it can damage now three blocks it just will continue through and damage more and more um, however the HP like it's not as strong against the uh, armor blocks however if we instead use uh, armor piercing as the effect, or the piercing effect, if we fire on the water, which will simulate, you know, weak blocks, it will damage, like, about as much. Um, if you do um, bigger systems, you will however notice that the punch through cannon shots can go even further. 
But if we fire this on, you know, armor block, you can see it's slightly more damaged. It actually probably would be... Um, one second here. We will double the systems um, to better be able to show off this. Because with systems as small as this, it's hard to see the difference. So we just double them up here. Cannon dual length go for Yes, it's all connected up, and the beams. Okay. Let's fire the shots just like they are. So with the piercing and then the cannon. Or no, uh, the not the, the beam and then the cannon. And you can see the this damage now two blocks and this just melt through. Uh, the water simulates system blocks right now, but uh, as you might guess, um, the beams are very effective against systems. If we compare on the armor part, the beam will destroy it on one blast. The cannon takes two shots, but they're about equal, you know, damage per second. However, we will start comparing this with the systems. Like, now we double the system, now it will be more clear. We hook up some armor piercing for this cannon, and you see, boom! It comes through all this part, just like that. It's, um, you know, much better penetration than before. If we fire at the armor, you can see it one-shots the armor block. If we, however, connect up this with punch through, you can see like this. Push! It goes through. The similar damage to the water once again. And if we go on to the armor blocks, it will still one-shot the armor blocks. That's very interesting. Yes. Well, I know that the punch through um, is more effective to go through against uh, systems. I guess it's notable with even bigger systems. Um, however, it looks like armor piercing is a very good choice for cannons as you can damage the uh, damage the blocks the armor blocks very much now let's look at the beams uh, we looked at the beam default damage if we put on some armor piercing we can just you know one shot how many was it two or three yeah looks like three armor blocks just like that um, so armor piercing is of course great with beams. Now one thing you should remember with beams is that beams have limited range. But look at this, um, with armor piercing, boom boom boom, it still increases the damage very much and it penetrates much further. Uh, if we instead go and connect this up with the punch through, Whoosh. And you can three. It melted through some two, three blocks more. Um, and you can just Im imagine the extreme damage this will do in a ship. So punch through on beams are really amazing, like melting through the systems like butter. Um, I talked about explosive earlier, and I want to show you that too. Um, if you have explosive, the damage will be less deep and more spread out. So you can see 
Now this is a quite weak cannon. But it does damage more surface blocks. So it's not as good against armor. But, uh, well, it will tear off the armor. So you can go in with your beams later and finish it off, I guess. But um, if you have a small target, it will... I mean, the surface damage will be very sufficient. However, very interesting with the beams here. We hook up the explosive on the beams and you will get a real um, system killer on, like, not deep level, but quite deep level penetration. Like that. Like, every tick it will create this explosive ex effect and it will basically be like this sonic booms of damage. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. And you can imagine the amount of damage this will create in a ship. Um, so I'd say explosive beams or punch through beams for deeper damage is something really powerful at closer range. But for longer range cannons, I mean, beams have very limited range. So that's something to keep in mind. And um, if you have the, uh, the the cannon, the explosive effect is it's a very good effect. But also the armor piercing for taking out that armor. As you understand, they all have different implications, and they all are usable, um, despite the um, you know their defaulted. It still does some heavy damage having these on. Like just that. Wrecking up that in one little dust. I mean the system isn't that big. Um, I however think that star mid damage is a bit nerfed now. Considering the uh, amount of time it takes to make. Um, to have a battle. It should be boosted. But if you look at this you know. With a punch through. That's one shot, and we could sever all this line. Isn't that amazing? Bigger targets absolutely go with a punch through for the beams, and you will have a real disabler um, for your enemy ships. Um, oh, I just want to show you the armor piercing uh, up against the advanced armor blocks, which you have in the back here. So we just hold it here. On one blast we could damage one, almost two blocks. And if we do like this, we try to wish, wish, wish at one block like that. It also goes on and damage behind, you can see. So even though we had an armor block, it continue making damage behind. So armor piercing for beams is not a bad idea as you see if we compare this to the punch through let's see if we can go through you see we couldn't get through on one shot however if we have two shots we could go through so that's really nice but as you understand um, of course this does even more damage it penetrated the whole thing um, but as you under... No, not really. Well, I guess it did. Uh, but however, we needed two shots for this. So it can be advisable to have armor piercing if you know that your damage isn't enough to go through on the first shot. Uh, compare this to the cannon. If we hook up the, uh, the armor piercing, you can see like that it... I guess it doesn't... Okay take that block. We need to fire two times to get through the armor, which is weird, but the penetration is far less than the uh, than the beam. Hook up the punch through and we need three, four, three shots to get through the armor. And then it also deems some damage behind, but, um, well. 
but remember cannons are also better at uh, longer range. Oh well, um, I guess that concludes this little tutorial. And you can see while the explosive effect is great on systems, we really need to work to get through the first shell here. Then it of course does damage, but you know, it can be hard in a combat. Anyways, um, Geomedism Industries Weapon Lab, I hope you learned a couple of new things about the piercing and punch through effect, also the unplanned uh, explosive also. So, if you like this video, please leave it a like and, uh, well, subscribe for more content if you already haven't done so. Um, well, see you next time, Geomedism Total Nerd Channel, officially out.